Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today I'm going to be reviewing yet another obscured low budget Kung Fu flick from ages ago. So I'm doing this again because, first of all, I like Kung Fu movies. Like, no shit, duh. And also, because it's on my to do list. Again, yes, I realize this is technically a notebook. I realize that. But I'm calling it a to do list because, as you can see, I have a lot to review. Anyway, a lot, plenty to talk about. Well, I guess I, I can just mark this one off my list. There you go. Well, taking it taking care of this right now then I guess. Anyway, any fucking way. The damn movie I'm gonna be talking about today is the one titled Yep, here we are, this one right here, folks. And yeah, of course the version I'm reviewing has this VHS tape look to it, I guess. Which I'm actually fine with, since I'm used to that look anyway. And yes, I did watch this on a DVD, of course. So, um, but it's also the English dubbed version I'm talking about, so just, uh, throwing that out there. So, of course, the English dubbing isn't quite as good as it should be, so, yeah, just letting you know. Well, any fucking way, yeah. <laughs> so, of course, as usual, I have to talk about the plot, so... Let's just get into it, shall we? Let's dive into the craziness of this movie. So, there's that. So, we get to see that there is this loner, and let's just say that uh, he's pretty much traveled pretty far, seeking out chances to improve and finally perfect his fighting techniques, his skills, and whatnot. So, for now, he can't fulfill his life's destiny to kill the man. Who calls himself uh, this kind of a uh, guess name, I guess, and the man responsible for his parents' death. So, um, yes, again, we're doing like a whole revenge kind of a thing. Yep, we got a revenge plot going out, going on here, folks. Again, so I know I made a remark about this, but I already get a remark again. Yeah, the revenge stories. Revenge plot lines, um, yeah, it became a common theme in these movies, folks. So here we go again, the revenge thing. So, yeah. So this individual who pretty much, you know, uh, did something bad is waiting, armed with the service of the sinister falcon and his shadow warriors, the ninja. So yeah, of course, you know, things do become pretty damn dramatic as the uh, film starts off and goes on, of course. But yeah, uh, of course, throughout the movie, we can see lots of crazy fight scenes. And yes, again, I will admit, the fight scenes are pretty well choreographed. And uh, the fight scenes are not as choppy as a lot of... um. A lot of the more modern day kung fu or even other action type movies. I do miss the fight scene from like these kind of movies where there's not like 50 edits in like one minute during the fight scene. Come on. Give me a break. Yeah, I miss when the fight scenes are done like, like this. And this kind of way in these old martial art films. Yes, I know I keep bringing that up, but still, I just miss how these films used to be done. I don't know. I mean, not that I'm not trying to give the new films a chance, but you just don't have the same charm. But anyway, on with that. On oh yeah, enough of that bullshit. On on with this one. Uh, it's decent. I've seen better kung fu films, but this one's pretty alright. And um, as for the editing for everything else around the fight scenes, it's a little choppy. Doing some other parts of the segments of the movie, I guess. But the fight scenes themselves, they're fine. But, um, but yeah. Uh, I can say it's not that bad, I guess. Uh, 
So it, pretty much the story itself is centered around, around this man who trains in this um, kind of style of fighting of Kung Fu who can take his revenge on this um, on these individuals. Uh, this people, I guess, whoever may have killed his family when he was a wee boy, I guess. So yeah, um, but overall, I mean, okay, yes, the story itself isn't as good as some of the others I've seen, and but it is very straight to the point, and it didn't exactly bore me. I was not bored. I was still pretty entertained. It doesn't have the best story, but the story itself is, it's okay. It's, how do I put this? It's serviceable, I guess, is what I'm saying. It's, it's enough of a story to get things flowing at a, at a decent pace. So it still holds together fairly well. So I can't really complain too much, I guess. So yeah, while, yes, I reviewed better Kofu films, but for what it's worth, it's decent. It's not too bad, I guess. But, I don't know. I'll say check it out. If you have nothing else to do, it would at least be a good time waster, is what I'm getting at. So, that should count for something. But, yeah. Far from the best, far from the worst. Somewhere in the middle. So, I'll give this film a overall rating. So, yeah, it does get straight to the damn point. I guess you can say, but all in all, it didn't bore me, so that's that's a, something, I guess. And while, yeah, the film does feel like copy and paste, and yeah, it does feel a bit familiaric to some extent. So yeah, it's pretty cliched, yes. But I was not bored by any means, so at least that counts for something, I suppose. <sighs> that was a good drink. All right. Anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 5.8 out of 10. It gets a 5.8 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.